Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as we roll into 2022. And we're in. We're looking at the number nine super featherweight in the world at 130 pounds, former world title challenger Lamont Roach Jr., who got back into the mix of things in 2021. He was coming off of 2020 where I want to say he only fought once. He got a knockout win. He was bouncing back from his lone title attempt uh, against Jamel Herring in 2019 in Fresno, a fight that I was actually at when he got outboxed against Herring. He was, he was bouncing back off of that, got one win in 2020 and entered 2021 trying to, you know, just again, put himself back into the, the mix uh, to continue and improve on that. In July, he took on Daniel Rosas, got a second round knockout. And then in December, he got a big opportunity on the Gilberto Ramirez undercard when he would take on former champion Rene Alvarado. And Lamont Rhodes Jr. worked Alvarado, absolutely worked him, outboxed him, outclassed him, and got a clean one-sided 10-round unanimous decision. And that puts Lamont Rhodes Jr. right back in the top 10 with that victory. That solid victory right there put him right back in the top 10. Now, his overall stats... He's uh, 26 years old, still very young, still a very young guy. He um, is 22-1-1 with nine knockouts, and his highest ranking is fourth by the WBO right now. So the kind of year that Lamont Roach is going to have is is debatable because, one, he's a Golden Boy guy. The zone, you know, they have some fighters, as does Golden Boy. So... It might be, you know, I mean, DAZN, Matchroom, and, and Golden Boy both have fighters that can compete against each other, but a lot of them seem to be lined up to do other things. For instance, Roger Gutierrez, Lamont Rhodes said a week after his fight, his win over um, Alvarado, that he would like to get his hands on Gutierrez, a WBA champion, but Gut who is also with Golden Boy, but Gutierrez is likely going to have to fight Chris Colbert in a mandatory defense next. And it's very likely that Chris Colbert is going to beat uh, Roger Gutierrez, in my opinion. And unless Gutierrez pulls out the upset, I really don't. Um, I really don't think that Gutierrez is going to be available for Lamont Roach. But if Gutierrez does beat Colbert, I think there's a very good opportunity that Lamont Roach gets a shot. But there's al there's also other you know there's other options. It's just we don't know really what is going to happen because there's not a lot of the top 10 is uh, promoted by Golden Boy or DAZN. So it's kind of up in the air right now what uh, what Lamont Roach Jr. is going to be able to accomplish. If I'm Lamont Roach, though, considering he's number four in the WBO, it's, it's a big risk, but maybe seek out a fight with Shakur Stevenson for the WBO title or we don't know if Stevenson's going to be moving up in weight at some point because he can't get a big name in the ring. He might end up moving up to lightweight. So if that happens, why not wait around and become the mandatory challenger by getting into a, a final eliminator? That's what I think makes most sense because he's ranked so high in the WBO right there that maybe first half of the year just stay busy, second half of the year get into a final eliminator or if he can get a final eliminator in the first half too. So it's kind of up in the air with Lamont Roach Jr. Uh, opportunities are going to be, you know, it, it, he's really going to have to cash in on an opportunity if he gets it. But we don't know what's going to happen. We got to see what all the other uh, fighters in the top 10, how they fall into place to set up a possible fight for Lamont, Lamont Roach Jr. But we'll see. He had, he had probably the biggest win of his career against Rene Alvarado. And now I'm hoping he gets to capitalize on it because he is a talented, good fighter. And I'd like to see him back in the mix. So we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's my 2021 year in top 10s. My number, my number nine super featherweight in the world, former world title challenger, Lamont Roach Jr. from the United States. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.